Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. Man, it feels like we're living on the equator right now with this heat wave. So we tried to figure out where is the coldest water for swimming on Cape Cod. We used some satellite imagery, looked around, and it seemed the answer might be Lighthouse Beach here in Chatham. So we're going all scientific on you today. We have a thermometer, a scientific implement. We're walking down to the point where we think the coldest swimming water might be. Maybe we're wrong, man, but it's so hot, we gotta take a dip. We started our cool quest by checking the latest sea surface temperature data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Take a look. Even some of the traditional cool spots, the Outer Cape, have that orange and yellow glow. But the cooler water, the blue that you see here, was sort of touching in the Chatham area. We figured Lighthouse Beach would be the spot where you'd have the best chance of getting the coolest water. And so that's where we went. Colin, tell us a little bit about the temperature of the water here at Lighthouse Beach. It gets cold, gets warm. What's going on? Uh, it's a very refreshing beach. Uh, around high tide, the temperature is between 60 and 62. Uh, high tide, today is as warm as it's been all season. It's been up in the, in the low 70s, but it uh, usually ranges about 65, 66 throughout the, throughout the day. So it's is, pretty nice. Is this one of the chillier beaches on Cape Cod? I'd say so, yep. Right, we got the Atlantic Ocean coming in, cooling everything down for us, so it's very refreshing. Yeah, one of those few places where you hop in and you say, I'm chilly for the one time today during this uh, heat wave. But if you're coming swimming here, Colin, you got to know about some of the water conditions. Could you just lay out some of the safety factors here? Sure. Well, this is a big shipping channel in here, so the, the currents really move fast in and out depending on the tide. So you got to always be aware of the current. Uh, in the blink of an eye, it can pull you out into the water over your head and pull you out towards the ocean. So if you do go in, don't go in too far because the tides can get you. Unbelievably, it's actually happening. The air is getting colder as we make it to the point at Lighthouse Beach here in Chatham. Maybe you can turn from Lawrence of Arabia to the Shackleton Expedition. Guys, let's talk water temperature here at Lighthouse Beach. It may be one of the chilliest spots water-wise on Cape Cod. How did it feel out there at the point sort of testing it out? Oh, it was very refreshing. A lot cooler than Florida, of course. Now, you're from Boca Raton. What's the water like down there? Oh, it's lovely. It's like bath water down there. But isn't that just too darn warm? I mean, you get in it, you don't get the satisfaction. Here at Lighthouse Beach, I mean, we're talking crisp. What did it feel like to you temperature-wise? Numbing. Compared to what we're used to, we're, we're used to bath water. Well, numbing in a good way? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, science time. We've got the thermometer. We're going in. First, we'll register the human reactions. Is it cold? Then we'll dip this in for a while. Cowabunga! Not bad at all. I'm telling you, that is not that chilly at all. Oh man, what if every beach on Cape Cod gets so molten hot that by August it's like tepid bath water or a closed down water park? I don't know, let's go in with the thermometer and find out what we're dealing with. All right, here we go, tail of the tape time. Let's see. Wow, 74 degrees. That is warm. Is there a place on Cape Cod where the water's still in the 60s? Drop us a line at CapeCast at CapeCodOnline.com. Chill out. My name's Joe Toskis. I'm from Milford, Massachusetts. Uh, the water today is the most beautiful temperature. It's been in many years. For this heat and how warm it is to get in there, fantastic. CapeCast.